Well, for anyone growing up in a Spanish-speaking Latino household, the Estefans were a name, a sound, a part of the family that made you want to get on your feet and dance. And now you can get that feeling, and it can be found here in Bakersfield at the Stars Theater Restaurant. Starting tonight, the rhythm is going to get you. Joining me now is Isamar Olaguez, who plays Gloria Estefan, and Eric Asias, who plays Emilio Estefan. Thank you guys both for being on today. <laughs> Thank you for Do you like us. all my little puns yeah. in there? Yeah. I threw every, yeah. every song you know, I could in there. Yeah. <laughs> now, can you guys tell me a little bit about what people can expect from us? on your feet literally getting on their feet that's what I like to hear um, it's it's a culmination of the music that made the Estefans the name that they are today so it's really nice to be able to tell a story through this uh, jukebox musical and they're able to get a little feel of a bunch of their love songs I love that now honestly they're they're icons so what is it like playing some of the most well-known people in the industry. I'll, I'll be honest, it's pretty intimidating and um, you know just to be able to play such a like a, a music mogul on somebody who just yeah. knew their, their craft really well and in this part also have, I have to have a little bit of a Cuban accent as well so that's different from my normal speaking voice. Can like, I hear the Cuban accent? <laughs> well right now I can say it a little bit okay but <laughs> if you want to hear more you gotta come to the show okay? <laughs> I love that okay do you have to work on your accent at all? I don't No. Oh. Um, Gloria is a very Americanized uh, Latina, so yes. I, and very educated woman, so I'm able to really speak in the normal voice that I've been growing up with. So that's good. That <laughs> it's good. hard not to go, yeah. go into the accent because it's so fun. You hear it and you're like, when you I hear it at home. It. Yeah, it's easy to do. Right. You slip right into it. Yep. It's funny. So my my parents, my mom is Mexican, my dad is Dominican, and my mom will always sit there and she'll be like. Every time you go to your dad's house, you come back speaking a little bit faster and singing your songs and like singing yes. your words like, girl, stop it all. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> you get into it. You get into it. So, you know, with everything that's going on right now, what drew you to participate in this show? What made you want to even audition for this role? Well, I've always been a fan, I, we were talking about this, of Emilio. Really? Uh, yes. Okay. I, when growing up, when I was doing pageants, one of the books that I love to read was um, The Rhythm of Success. It was Emilio Stefan's biography. So I was able to really love the amazing things that he was able to do to realize his American dream. Mm -hmm. It's something I really enjoyed. So when I saw this show in Los Angeles, it's kind of that light went off and I said, I need to do this. What this a is full a role. circle moment. Oh, for sure. Oh my goodness. So you saw it in LA and that was like, yes. okay, I wanna do it. And what about for you? For me, well, I saw the show in San Diego, but for me, I think in theater we often get certain roles that fit certain type of populations and mm -hmm. it's rare that we get a show that highlights Latinos that, that get to be themselves in a certain way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So to me this is me representing like the Latinx community and being able to represent who m a part of me essentially. And kind of showing off that American dream too, right? right? Oh, so yeah. th this is possible that they're immigrants. They they they've made the American dream for themselves, you know, mm -hmm. and are now household names and are strong people that we all look up to. So that's that's really cool to be able to play that as well. That representation really matters. Now, tell me a little bit more about the show. Where can people watch it? When is it airing, or not airing, but when will you guys be performing? Um, we actually open tonight um, on Emilio Estefan's birthday. March 4th. Wow. I know, right? Well, happy birthday, Emilio. Oh, <laughs> yes, and we will be performing throughout the month of March on weekends, so you can get more information at bmtstars.com. This is going to be so exciting. I know that people are going to love it. Again, the show starts tonight, uh, March 4th, and it's at Stars Theater Restaurant, 1931 Chester Avenue. If you guys have any questions, you can give them a call at 661-325-6100 or uh, visit their website, bmtstars.com. Um, are these these uh, tickets available online? Yes, and okay. you can also call to make a reservation. What is your favorite song from the uh, entire play? <laughs> I play around, but to be honest, it's one I don't sing because I sing so many. That's okay. But I get to see Eric shine oh. in a few of those songs. So being able to be in the wings and seeing him sing, um, he belts it out. Yes, Eric. Yeah, right? Okay. So those are some voice. of my favorites. Small Absolutely. speaking voice, big singing voice. Yeah. Hey, you know what? When it comes out, it comes out. Right. So we're excited yeah. about that. <laughs> well, we're going to have you sing us out of the show. But before we do that, I want to go ahead and thank you guys all for joining us for another episode of Studio 17 Live. Uh, we'll see you right back here next week. For more Studio 17 Live, make sure you follow us on social media. Make sure to spread a little sparkle everywhere you go today. And make sure to be someone that makes everybody feel like somebody. Like I said, you're going to sing us out of the show. Yes. So are you ready to party? I'm ready to party. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Get on. On your feet. I feel like this Get is stuck in everyone's head. And make it happen. Mm -hmm. Get on your feet. <laughs>
stand up and take some action. Yes. You say, I know it's a waste of time. There's no use trying. No use trying. <laughs> Ooh. So scared that life's gonna pass you by. Your spirit's dying. <laughs> I have to tell you guys something. All day long, we've been singing that song <laughs> in studio. So the new station, we've it been singing catchy. it. Thank so you guys so much yeah, for coming. We're going to leave the show the same way if you come by. <laughs> thank you for having us. Right, we appreciate it, you guys. We'll see ya.